Wanna know? Wanna know what's in the bag? Keep watching. Hey friends, hey family, mi gente, como estas bienvenidos, hope you guys are doing well. And today is a good day, why? Because this is the last day of the Sephora VIB sale. I know you probably won't be able to get any of these things on sale anymore, but I wanted to show you guys what I pulled from the haul. I do have two items coming, but I will put that at the end of the video, but let's go ahead and get into what I got. So I stayed within budget, check okay so at first i wasn't going to participate but then i thought about there are some things that i want to implement in a future video and you will see that in just a second but let's get into this haul before we get started into the haul i would love for you guys to be a part of the missy q family yes and also missy palo we got some stuff for missy palo in this haul if you don't know who that is then definitely subscribe to the channel because maintenance mondays will tell you everything about missy palo okay let's get into it the first product is uh, what we're going to use on missy palo uh, this is my first purchase briogeo product now not necessarily because if you consider boxycharm okay but this brand um the be gentle be kind this is the avocado quinoa co-wash if you don't know i am right now testing a whole bunch of co-washes because i want to bring the best and worst of co-washes for you guys and um yes this one was a 32 dollar uh 16 ounce bottle so we definitely gonna see if it's worth the coin because y'all grow wash that is seven dollars is the bomb i did a review on that definitely will link it in this video but this one is a higher price co-wash along with the diva curl diva curl is my holy grail but we gonna see how briogeo matches up to that but i'm really excited because this one contains no sulfates no silicones no parabens i'm really excited about trying this this is something for my brushes i was going to get the cinema secrets i really like that brush cleaner but this one is is a dry clean so it's like dry shampoo for your brushes so you spray it directly on the brush and then you wipe it off let's test it right now so I'm gonna use that we're going to spray this uh, brush my Andrea Renee brush and it says spray about two or three times and then it says just try to wipe it off and let's see oh it smells good Ooh, it made it extra soft too now it looks like it didn't get everything off but um, it definitely got it cleaner than my what is this called color switch this versus the you know okay so that's item number two item number three I did get this this was in my on my wish list this is the Fenty Sunstalker duo the Sunstalker and the matchstick okay and the Sunstalker I got caramel cutie and cinnamon in the matchstick so I tried both of these in the store and um, we'll see how this works but I wanted to try the bronzer but I don't really want I actually wanted the matchstick um, this was like retail $24 so I got a mini bronzer which is cool and I got a mini matchstick, which I'm really into mini. Is anybody else into mini right now? So, love these. I also got a mini of the Hydro Grip by Milk Makeup. They told me this really works. Do I need any more primer primers? No, but I didn't want to get the full price one. And um, this looks like it's going to be plenty. Okay. And this is the Hydro Grip Primer by Milk Makeup. I'm really excited about trying this. And the good thing about trying minis is that you haven't, to me, really wasted your money in the product. Unless you really love it, which you can go back and get the larger. But also, you have a travel. If you love it, you have a travel item. The last product that I picked up in the store was the Ole Henriksen um, banana cream this is see your best selfie it comes with banana bright cream and the sea rush brightening gel cream so I have the the true is it the truth serum and I also have the cleanser but this is the moisturizer and I have the eye cream now the eye cream I did these neither one of these are the full size but I'm okay with that because this has an expiration of six months and so oh this is 12 months but that's okay because if I really like it I have travel sizes 
So I picked up a lot of minis, y'all, which I am okay with. Hey, mom. Okay. Okay, mom. Thanks. Bye. Oh, <gasps> that was mom. Hi, mom. Happy Mother's Day. Okay, so let me tell y'all what I actually got. Let me go to my order. So I got the Madam C. J. Walker Culture Hella Drenched Hydration Cream Co-Wash. Okay, and um, I'm really excited about that because, of course, I am reviewing co-washes right now or I'm trying co-washes. And then finally, I got the Sephora Favorites Power of the Petal. Now, the reason why I got this is because I wanted the Laneige sleeping mask and that's retail for $30 this one retail for $36 and I'm getting the Biosense which I really wanted to try and it has the midnight recovery cream I mean a uh, oil that I really love by um, Kiehl's it has the Caudalie serum in it which I really love it has pharmacy it has the honey moon glow which I really wanted to try but I will show you guys once I get it because I want to review this this looks like it's, it's the power of the prep petal. I'll take it that everything in here is, it says skincare plant-based. Mm, excited about that. So this is, I don't, it's not necessarily clean makeup, but everything is like botanically infused, which is cool. Okay, so that's what I picked up from the sale, you guys. Not that much. More skincare than anything. Yeah, more skincare than anything, than hair care, than makeup. I only got a few things in makeup um yeah just like really two things yeah hope you guys enjoyed this um haul i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one